Hello students, welcome to the subject of complex variable and partner differential equation. Myself, Dr. Ankit Acharya, and today, in today's lecture, we will discuss about Cauchy integral formula. You already know that we already discussed about Cauchy integral formula, but only for first formula, right? We discuss about only for this formula, integration f of z upon z minus z zero dz. That is equal to 2 pi i f of z0. I repeat, integration f of z upon z minus z0 dz. That is equal to 2 pi i f of z0. Where f of z is analytic. f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C. And if z0 is any point inside C, z0 is any point inside C. In that case, we use Cauchy integral formula right in that case we use Cauchy integral formula okay now now this formula we we can only use if your degree of z minus z0 in denominator is only one but suppose your degree of z minus z0 in denominator more than one how can you use Cauchy integral formula so, for that, you have to apply this formula, okay, integration f of z upon z minus z0 raised to n plus 1, okay, I mentioned here raised to n plus 1 dz, that is equal to 2 pi i upon n factorial, nth derivative of z0, at point z0, nth derivative of the function at point z0, okay. So that means what? Suppose n plus 1 that is equal to 4. Okay. That means the degree of z minus z0 in denominator that is 4. That means n is equal to 3. So that's why you have to write 3 factorial on right hand side in denominator and you have to find out the third derivative of the function at point z0. Okay. So let's solve this type of example, how we can solve this type of example, so that is our today's lecture, okay. So, let's see how we can solve. So, up to five examples we already solved in last lecture. So, this is our example number 6, integration e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 raised to 4 dz, where circle, circle is what, mod z is equal to 2. Now, when we compare this circle with our general equation of circle mod z minus a is equal to r. So, in that case, now you can understand what is your a? a is nothing but 0 and what is your r? r is nothing but 2, okay. And we know that in denominator, this function, this whole function is not analytic at z is equal to minus 1, okay. So, what is your z0? z0 is nothing but minus 1 and clearly, minus 1 is inside the given circle C, okay. If you can understand, suppose I draw this circle, right, roughly and what is your R? Radius is nothing but 2. So, suppose this is my circle, uh, origin is my center, right, 0, 0 is my center, here I have 2, 0 and left hand side I have minus 2, 0, okay. And what is your point, what is your z0, z0 is minus 1, so minus 1 is here, right, minus 1 is here and clearly minus 1 is inside the given circle C. So, in examination, you have to write down these two statements on each and every example, f of z, f of z is equal to what, e raised to 2z is analytic, is analytic, okay. And uh, on a simple closed curve C and Z0, Z0 is what minus 1 is inside the given circle C, is inside a given circle C, right. So, this two statement that you have to write in each example of this type of example, okay. Now, using Cauchy's integral formula for extension of Cauchy's integral formula, what is the formula? C. f of z integration f of z upon z minus z0 raised to n plus 1 dz that is equal to 2 pi i upon n factorial. So, that is why this equal to I can write suppose this is my i, i is what integration e raised to 2z upon 
z plus 1 raised to 4 dz so that is equal to i can write 2 pi i 2 pi i divided by 3 factorial f third derivative at point minus 1 so first of all what is your f of z f of z that is nothing but e raised to 2 z so we have to find out the third derivative for this function okay so f of z is e raised to 2z so what is f plus z f plus z is nothing but 2 e raised to 2z f double dash z f double dash z that is equal to 4 e raised to 2z and f triple dash z okay f triple dash z that is equal to 8 e raised to 2z right now i want to find the third derivative of the function at point minus 1 so just write minus 1 here just put the value of minus 1 here so this is nothing but 8 e raised to minus 2. So that's why this equal to I can write 2 pi i upon 3 factorial into 8 e raised to minus 2. I hope you can understand. I want to find out the value of f triple dash at minus 1. So that is nothing but 8 e raised to minus 2. Okay. So that's why 2 pi i upon 3 factorial 8 e raised to minus 2 and that equal to Okay, this is 2 into 3, 3 factorial means 2 into 3, so pi i upon 3, so 8 pi i upon 3 e square, correct? So this is my final answer for this example. So let's solve one more example. Here, integration sin z raised to 6 upon z minus pi by 6 cube dz, where circle, circle is what? Mod z is equal to 1, okay? So clearly you can understand that pi by 6. Now what is the value of pi by 6 approximately? The pi is 3.14 and 3.14 divided by 6 approximately 0.52. So clearly you can understand here a is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1. Okay, a is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1. And clearly this pi by 6 is inside the given circle C. Now what is your f of z? f of z is equal to sin z raised to 6, okay, and what is your z0, z0 is nothing but pi by 6, so write do this two statement, in this example that f of z is equal to sin z raised to 6 is analytic over the control c, and z0 is equal to pi by 6 is inside the given circle c, okay, that two statement, those two statements that you have to write, now, uh, using Fossey integral formula, suppose this is my capital I, so what is the formula capital I, I can write the degree of z minus pi by 6 is 3, right, so n plus 1 is equal to 3, here, so n plus 1 that is equal to 3, that means n is equal to what, 2, so 2 pi i, what is the formula, 2 pi i upon n factorial, n derivative at point z0, so because here we have n is equal to 2, so that's why 2 pi i, upon 2 factorial f double dash at point pi by 6 okay so that's why we have to first of all find out the derivative of this function so f of z is equal to sin z raised to 6 let's find out the derivative f of z that is equal to sin z raised to 6 so what is f plus z the first derivative is nothing but 6 sin z raised to 5 and now differentiation of sin z so that is cos z okay now second derivative f double dash z that is equal to f double dash z first of all use multiplication rule so first of all differentiation of sin z raised to 5 so that is 6 into 5 30 sin z raised to 4 and now differentiation of sin z again okay. using chain rule so that is cos z so already one cos z is here so we have cos square z and now differentiation of cos z that is minus sin z so that's why minus 6 okay minus 6 sin z raised to 5 is already there so now we have sin z raised to 6 okay and now i want to find out the value of f double dash pi by 6 okay so that is nothing but 30 sin pi by 6 raised to 4 cos pi by 6 square minus 6 sin pi by 6 raised to 6 okay so this equal to now 
the value of sin pi by 6 that is 1 by 2 we know that cos so t into 1 upon 2 raised to 4 the value of cos pi by 6 that is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 square so that's why 3 by 4 minus 6 into the value of sin pi by 6 that is 1 by 2 so 1 upon 2 raised to 6 okay so now when we simplify this is nothing but 30 into 3 so 90 divided by 2 raised to 4 into 4 so there is 2 raised to 6 right and that is 64 minus 6 upon again 2 raised to 6 so that is 64 okay and this equal to 90 minus 6 so 84 upon 64 okay and that is equal to I can write 21 right uh, divided by 60 correct 21 divided by 60 because 84 divided by 64 that can be written as 21 divided by 60 so the value of f double dash pi by 6 is 21 divided by 60 okay now put this value in this equation so already we have two to cancel out okay so the value of i i can write the value of our final integration that is equal to 2 pi i upon 2 factorial f double dash pi by 6 okay and that's why uh, this equal to 2 2 will be cancel out pi i okay pi i f the value of f double dash pi by 6 is what okay 21 divided by 16 so 21 divided by 16 so i can write 21 pi i divided by 16 this is my final answer for this example okay so in today's lecture we discuss about cosy integral formula but extension of cosy integral formula so in that case we have don't forget the formula is integration f of z upon z minus z 0 raised to n plus 1 dz that is equal to 2 pi i upon n factorial f raised to n at point z0 that means what you have to find out the nth derivative of the given function f at point z0 and in today's lecture we already solved two examples both examples are very important already asked in GTU question paper okay so thank you